Right, hello again everybody. Um, it's a lovely warm, well it's actually hot not warm, afternoon here in the north of England. Depends wherever you're working, watching this from. Um, this is slightly different. This, this um, sketch here in my sketchbook started as a, as a doodle, as a, as, a, as a paint doodle. Um, where I work, in my, in my work um, space, I've got a postcard, a David Hockney postcard that he did uh, when he was <coughs> in Bridlington. And it's a village scene in, I think it's Killam in the Yorkshire world. Always liked it. And his painting has got no lines on it. It's just, it's drawn with, with the brush. And I did this to try and emulate him. It's not a slavish copy. Um, but it was fun and it evolved over two or three days. Every time I walked past it, I did a bit more. And at the moment, I've, I've all, apart from these few here, there are no inclines. And I was about to ink it in. And I thought, well, I'll film it. And you can see it's a slightly different approach to line and wash, that it's colour first with no pencil underneath and then some ink. And because uh, the paint's already down, I'm, I'm, I'm putting the ink on with this, with this lovely... Kawiko uh, sport pen with a lovely fine nib. Uh, the ink's water soluble, so if I did it the other way around, the ink would wash. But I can confidently do it this way. I should have filmed it before. Um, uh, but here we are, put some lines on. So I, I'm not referring to the um, to the, the postcard at all. I'm, I'm merely just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Um, I posted this on, on my Instagram page in various stages um, and everybody said, yeah, it's a fantastic, um, it's great to see you trying something out of the norm um, that's not in your usual style, but, you know, would like you to see, would like to see you do it. I, I was tempted to leave it just with paint. Um, but people kind of said, no, we'd like to see... Um, your usual lines. So at the moment I'm, I'm adding this. This is an extra fine nib and the first thing that strikes me is um, I'm drawing over an existing wash and the line itself is um, it's spreading. The paper must be uh, still a bit damp but the ink is actually spreading rather than how it would um, if I was if I was drawing onto uh, just just paper or a sketchbook page, um, and I'm just I'm, I'm kind of I really envy people that can put almost abstract coloured backgrounds down and then draw over the top of them. But I I've realised that <clears throat> I have to be fairly literal in in anything I do. Um, I suppose we're a slave to our habits, really. Um, the one thing I'm finding that this, it, this ink line's behaving, it, it, it's it's running down the on the page really, really well. Um, but that's, ob that's obviously due to the punishment that the paper's taken with with the water and the watercolour wash. Uh, but I love the way it's flowing. Um, and again, I'm just, I'm kind of outlining now the shapes I'd already drawn with, with the paint. Um, I'm curious to see how this ends up because when I do line and wash the usual way around, which is where I I actually draw the ink first. Um, I'm not used to the lines being this this solid and this black or as thick, even though it's extra fine. Um, I suspect it's because of what's happened, what I've done to the watercolour paper in the, in the, in the sketchbook. 
which is fine. I should I should actually try a. I don't know what's going to happen here. This was kind of a, a random thing. I can be a bit more there. There you go. I can see now. It's obviously down to the the presence of of watercolor because let me show you here. Look, this bit I'm actually drawing directly onto the onto the page with no paint underneath and the line is as I expect it's um, it's really fine look I'll, I'll do it that that's lovely and I can make it skip which is what I love to do with with lines but up here where there's more paint the fountain pen ink is, is kind of bleeding a bit more, but but I love I love the feel of of a fountain pen nib. I can't remember what this door looked like, so let's just give it kind of a, a four pan with a, a fan light above it. And we're nearly at the end because I'm, I'm determined that I'm not going to put um, too much line work on. Um, because overworking stuff, is, it's been... been a real a real issue to to kind of contend with that um, in these times where we've all got loads and loads of time there's no real pressure on my time so I can take my time with with painting um, with sketches and stuff so, and the result of that is I, I'm absolutely I'm absolutely convinced that, um, well, I know, I posted um, on my Instagram page um, about, I did a fantastic, well, to me, I, I thought it was a good, a good drawing of a, a local, a cottage near where I live. Um, far more detailed drawing than I would normally do because I've normally got something else that I could be cracking on with. And it was really, really detailed. And I was really pleased with it as a drawing. And then I came to the paint stage and I absolutely completely overworked it. It was overkill. Um, and normally, I don't overwork my drawings or anything. I just kind of, I prefer to wham bam the done in a, a relatively short space of time. Let's put some tiles on there. Again, I'm, I've chosen subconsciously, look, I've chosen to only put lines indicating tiles on these um, grey roofs, um, bluey roofs. You see, and it's spreading, and there's, there's too much. It's, what I want is a really fine, fine line. And, I think this was um, the edge of another building. But I'll just I'll leave that as it is. So there we go. I'm going to photograph this and um, post it on my Instagram page because a lot of people said, yeah, we'd love to see the finished result because as good as the painting, the initial painting is, was, whatever it was, um, it's missing your trademark lines. So there you go. Oh, sorry about that. Trademark lines added, although they're not really trademark because my lines are usually a lot finer. Um, so there you go. Job finished. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll put a link to the my Instagram page in the comments as well in the description so that um, you can have a look at this as it was before I put any lines on. Okay, thanks again, bye.